Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, I hope all is well. It's Friday. Um, I'm hoping that uh, we could all just take a couple of days to ourselves and just kind of take a deep breath in and just relax now for a few days. Uh, we got through the week and um, we will get through. We will, we, were, we will persevere and get through all this madness that's going on right now in our world. Guys, I want to show you guys something very important to me. Very, very important to me. Um, if you've been watching my channel for any given time at all, you know I am the hugest Boker fan that there is. Um, and my favorite pattern is the Copperhead by Boker, okay? Um, I love the pattern. It's a two-blade, uh, pattern, and, um, let me try. It's a two-blade pattern. You guys have seen this knife a billion times, so, um... So that's that. So you know that the, the copperhead is my favorite pattern. Now, saying that, Case just went, Case Knives just went into their vault. And every year they, they bring a knife out of their vault. And this one happens to be their um, pocket hunter. It is the same exact knife as the uh my boker um copperhead it's the same thing now they made this knife in shall i say a mini size yeah probably a mini size but it doesn't feel mini in the hand it just does not feel mini in the hand you could get a lot of work done with this little um, case knife. Um, I am head over heels over it just by, well, naturally, it's it looks like the copperhead uh, pattern. But the size of it is getting me. Um, if you hold it in hand, um, it's just, here, let's compare it with the full size uh, boker. That's what you're looking at right there. So it's significantly smaller, but you know something? It works. It works, it works, it works big time. Um it, it's just a it's just a great um it's just a great little knife. Now this is the cheapest one out of the uh bunch. They came out with a bunch of different scales now for uh these i mean they went crazy and they got a lot of different ones to choose from i wanted to see if i liked this one because i didn't know if it was going to be just too small so i went i chose for the yellow delrin which i love yellow delrin anyway it's retro and back in the day this is the way you used to get your knife so i i'm i'm a fan of yellow delrin but this is the cheapest one. It comes in at like 45 or 46 bucks. You can go all the way up the I seen them in the uh the one buffalo horn, the black buffalo horn. It's uh like $85. And um you could get up there with this little piece. They sell single blade and double blade. Um but I just can't stop playing with this thing since I got it yesterday. And I wanted to do the video comparing um, comparing my uh, Boker uh, Copperhead to the little mini Pocket Hunter that cases out. So you guys can clearly see that it's basically just, I mean, it's basically the same thing. Same knife pattern. And, um... Guys, I tell you what, it didn't, I, the reason why I got this baker's knife 
was because I also have to do a video. Now, if anybody else would like to do videos, we've done it not that long ago of our sacks, of our Victorian X collections. I am a big fan of Victorian X, and I have a bunch of them in there. And I thought that this would just be perfect uh, for the collection. Um, and I do like it. I do like it. I'm not going to say I don't like it. But um, it really didn't go over that well with people. People really didn't like it. I guess for the serrations and stuff like that. But you know something? As I get older, I'm becoming more of a fan of serrations. I really am. I, I, I mean, I'm right up there. I'm get, I mean, God bless uh, Zach stuff. You know, he doesn't care. He didn't, you know, he didn't care if nobody liked it. He is a fan of serrations. And that's it, period. And you know something? Serrations, when you got a knife with serrations, or even half serrations... They could get some serious cutting chores done, guys. It's I don't know why we don't like serrations on our knives. At least half. Um, and nowadays, it's easy enough. The tools are out there. It's easy enough to sharpen the serrations. But I just think for cutting, if you really need to do some cutting, um, you can't beat serrations on a knife. You just can't. Anyway. I just thought that this was a cool little piece to add to the, my collection because I, I've never seen it before. And I just, I like different. Um, I like different things. And when I saw this, I thought it was totally different because I just, I never saw it before. And I thought I saw everything. But apparently, uh, that's not the case. So it does come with a nice little slip. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just good. I like it. I like it. Um, and, uh, this little guy here is really gotten to me as well. It's a little Rough Rider Mini. And I tell you, these minis are just taking it, man. Get a little mini in your hand and tell me that it does not feel small in your hand, guys. It, do it does not feel small. Um, it, it feels not look at my fingers three fingers Perfect on it. My thumb Perfect 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 cutting look at that. I could cut anything and everything with this piece right here um, And I just really took uh, To these little uh, minis um, They're really really neat guys and I have a bunch of minis in there um so this isn't my first go at buying a mini but these two minis that i bought this little rough rider and this case one oh my god now i really 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 love minis guys i love these minis um i i would just please just try one because i'm sure a lot of you have not tried a mini um I'm almost sure that, that, that a bunch of you has just skipped over it. Just try one. This knife here was $7, guys. There's $7. Get, just get one and try it. I mean, you can't lose nothing. You, you, you can't, at this point, you can't lose nothing by picking one of these up. You can't. It's got the long mac, uh, match strike pull. Look at that. I mean, they give you everything you could want. I mean, for seven bucks, man. I'm telling you, I, I, am get, I am getting there. I am getting to become a big, big fan of these gosh darn Rough Riders. I mean, they make them. <laughs> they make, it's the fit and finish, really. The fit and finish is awesome on them. I, I mean, and the, the cover scales. It's the cover scales that they come out with. Look at this. They made this one. They called this one the all stripe. Like, just look carefully at the bone. Look carefully at that back spring. Look at what you're paying for. Look at this. I think that this was under $15. I don't, I think it was, 
Man, I got the receipt. I think it was 14 bucks or something. Just look it up, guys. It's not important. It's cheap. But this trapper is just so gosh darn. It's got half stops. You know? If you're a traditional knife guy, you love half stops. Most of these knives Rough Rider is making now, they come with half stops. But just take a look at this piece, will you? I mean, they're giving you all kind of exotic scales and... I mean, they're, they're trying, it seems like they're trying to really earn your business, man. And I mean, they're just, dude, I don't know, man. They're just good. The action is good on them. The walk and talk, they're snappy. They're snappy. You know, you don't get a 12 or a $14 knife that has walk and talk like that. I don't know, man. I'm just happy with my, my few purchases. These. My next purchase from Smoky Mountain, uh, I got to get more of these guys, these novelty, uh, it's a novelty knife, guys, and I like them, just, just to have this little pen knife, they're, they're cool, just to collect a bunch of these, you know, have these laid out, they're really neat, they are really neat, the detail in them, for, Again, I think it was a $4 knife, not even. I mean, I don't know. How are you going to beat that? Anyway, guys, the video is getting long. I just wanted to stop in again and say thank you guys for everything and sticking with me. And uh, basically, more than uh, anything, I wanted to show you the uh, Copperhead and the, uh, the Pocket Hunter here. And... Um, if you guys could pick one of these up, man, I'm telling you, it is good. I mean, I don't love case knives, you know what I mean? They've been having their problems, but this is a good, good little knife to stick in your pocket, man. I'm telling you, if you got one of these, you will not be disappointed. All right, guys, it's a crazy world out there. Stick with me. Happy Friday. And, uh, yo, um, this is Pete. Saying, uh, be careful out there. Wash them hands. And, uh, we'll see you guys real soon on the next one. I got something coming in the mail again. And, uh, this time it happens to be a Kershaw. So, we got a little Kershaw coming in for you guys. All right, then. Yo, take care, guys. Be careful. Stick with me. I'm out.